Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete on the PlayStation 4. We're going to go back into the, the Dimension Guide place, back to the Grand North, into the Frost Castle, where I believe we'll probably meet up with Nadiris. Did you really think I would fight fair and square? Nope. All I have to do is find that fire sky and steal the demon tome. Good luck with that. After I become overlord, I will destroy Etna. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not going to happen. Surprise. That voice. I finally found you. <laughs> what? The duel is not until tomorrow. Surprise. Did you really think I'd wait that long? Ah, you dirty little demon. Oh, I love it when you call me that. It really is the greatest compliment. Creepy. Miss Edna, are you sure you want to anger him that much? He has your memories, you know. It's too late. Edna, you will regret this. Miss Edna, he's going to destroy your memory? Go ahead. Why don't you do it already? What? <laughs> you won't be so cocky after this. Oh, yeah? Your memory. Uh, it, it's gone. Surprise. What happened? I thought you were going to make me regret something. <laughs> no. Where did it go? <laughs> yes, Edna, we got your memory back. You told us to, dude. Thank you, Dark Durian. Good work, Dark Durians. You, you betrayed me. Surprise! Hey, we're demons, dude. Would you expect any less? Looks like the tide has turned. Yeah, it has. Uh, damn it! So, would you like your death sunny side up, or will it be scrambled? Yes. You won't make it out of here alive. Witness my power! I've already witnessed it, man. Not impressed. I mean, I might be this time around, but I wasn't the last time. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, there's so many bad guys. Oh, look, they have healers. Oh, well. What level are you? Ugh, 250. Ugh, we might be... We might be underwhelming at this point. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Ooh, this could be a... This could be a problem. I'm not gonna write us off yet, because we've done some pretty amazing things, but this is looking like it might be outside of our realm of possibility. This was probably the end-all be-all, the last level of Etna mode, but... It's a pretty substantial jump in power. So what we may end up doing, if we do fail this, is uh, the next episode will be me doing a random couple of runs through leveling up, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's okay. I suppose I'll have to do the asteroid drop, which I'm not a massive fan of, but it's okay. We'll drop toward the enemy, see if we can't disrupt their lines. I don't think they have the power to kill Edna straight up. They might, but I don't think they do. Huh, we have not done a lot of damage to these guys. I'm getting concerned. And if Courtney throws her uh, best out here and it's just not enough... Uh, mm. I'm going to be quite concerned. I mean, it hurt them. I don't really have a solution to these issues that we're faced with. I mean, this is, uh... So this is going to be something that was going to be a bit much to deal with. I mean, we need to be doing, like,
like four or five thousand per hit, and we're doing like fifteen hundred. We're not really strong enough for this. That's not what I wanted. Wing Slayer. That's fine. I shouldn't even do that much to to her, to Edna. Seven hundred. I mean, that's that's more than I would have liked to have done, but it's it's not the worst. My goodness. This is absurd. Oh, this is just the first row. This is the pawns we're dealing with right now. We still got the big bad at the end, and all the other. We haven't killed anyone. This is a little horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not real sure what to think of this. Um. I'm just going to go into defensive mode with you. Alright, let's see what happens. I... You know, there's going to be some shenaniganery. Just hoping it's not super bad. Okay, that's probably fine-ish. Etna's surrounded right now. He's going to die. So he's gonna be okay. And it's taking a beating. I mean, she's okay, but she's she's getting beaten down. That didn't feel good. Okay, so we absolutely must not die a horrible death. So, let's do this. We'll get ourselves out of this little alcove of doom. If we do an Omega Star right there, move you out of the way just for a sec. We should probably be able to kill one, maybe two, if we're super lucky. Oh, there's definitely a, a, a very real look of concern on my face right now. Good, I'm glad you leveled up, Courtney. I'm gonna need you to stay pretty strong through all this. Um, I'm gonna move here. That one's still alive. I think this is going to be fine. We'll use Wind Cutter. Should be enough to take him out. Oh, I really hope it is. Okay. That's good. We have you in a reserve, Tamlin, which we absolutely 100% totally need in, oh, in every sense of the word. Execute and heal. Okay, didn't quite bring Etna back to full capacity, but close. Things are a bit messy now, though. That's that's one of the real issues here. Um, Usagi drop can do some work, but it's not going to be enough. I think we lose. I think we're going to lose a few people off of this. I mean, again, we're doing some damage, but like no one's really that hurt. Yeah, we're just dealing with the, the first remnants of this. 
Now, if we can do this without losing too many people, like maybe one or two more people is fine, as long as it's not like the tricore of these over here. We'll be okay, but if it is, eh, if it's gonna be the tricore, then we're gonna be having some serious issues. That tap bang. I suppose we can wind cutter our way up again. I think that's everything we've got. Maybe if we move there? Also, if we don't turn our back to the enemy, that's going to be pretty useful. I'm noticing there seems to be some flanking things that I've not noticed before. So, apparently flanking's a thing. I was trying to avoid that, actually. I did a bad job, as you can see. Katie should survive the double attack. And even a follow-up attack, if need be. Bumpy's fine. Antro should be okay. Alright, we get some retaliatory striking going on here. That wasn't too bad. Again, nobody died. That was the ultimate goal. But at the same time, nobody's dead on their side either. Okay, we're gonna move here. We are quickly, more quickly than I would have liked, running out of mana. We do have some mana restorative things that we can use. I need to make sure wherever I land... I think I'm going to go after this guy. Can I, can I do my Night Sever from here? Okay. Twelve, forty-five. Oh, it does do two instances of damage. Okay, so 24. Alright, cool. Yeah, I didn't get to see that last time. Like, I'm sure it was there, but I, I missed it type situation. Alright, we're gonna try our special triple strike. I don't like the positioning of our, our boy Antros there, but we can probably finagle something out of this. Okay, what if we do this? Is that gonna be enough damage? This is this is pretty intense, guys and gals. Like we're struggling. It's like we have a couple just beasts, and then everything else is just like maybe it does some damage. I think we killed two. We killed one. That's not great. Mm. All right, try Giga Heal Tricor right there. Unfortunate reality is we're leaving Antros to his own devices, and I don't know that he's got enough oomph to survive it. Very unhappy with our positioning here, but we may survive. I, I'm actually going to try and kill this guy off, so this might not be the worst thing in the world. 44 HP is what you had left. I think I'll just move here. I'm take a shot at love. There it is. Um. Oh no. Mm. I can't do enough damage that way. Uh, maybe I can. We go here. We're gonna try the wind cutter. the pretty rate. I'm not sure where I moved the guy. Probably Zap. I probably moved Zap into a stupid spot. 
Should be able to do 1300, I would assume. Probably? 1800, okay. Good. That's it. Alright, let's see what happens now. Twister. Okay. Zap going down at the end of the world. Zombie swarm. Will Courtney survive? Will she survive the zombie apocalypse? She will. Which is great. Zombie Gatling, just for her. It seems a little bit of a waste, but fine. If she has to go down, she has to go down. Ah, unfortunate. I was hoping she'd survive it. And another zombie swarm. Can Antros fight back? Can he defend well enough? The answer is just barely, but then he died to poison or something. Crud. Well, I hoped. I dreamt. I dared to dream. But apparently, it was not enough. Alright, so what we need to do now, I was really, really, really planning on putting her away, Courtney, so she would not die, not waste a person being out here because she has no mana, but at least I gotta have a choice now. She's stuck out here for a little while at least. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink a Bloody Mary. Give her some mana back. So at least she'll be a little bit useful now. She can't use an item and do stuff. That's, that's understandable. Asteroid drop. Our healer will go down this time around, so Tamlin's gonna go bye bye here. That was not enough to finish things, but it's a good shout. It's a good start. Uh, Wing Slayer. Be just enough. Do I want him to do it? That's the question. I'll we'll probably do it from this side. Yeah, I think we can cross homogenate this. Then we'll just have the two Zambies that we have to deal with. Alright, three Zambies that we'll have to deal with. Alright. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Plenty has got enough to take something out here. <sighs> that was not enough. 110, Plenty, what do you got for me? Soggy's like level 25. That's still not enough to do, you know, 20, 20,000. Like 2,000 damage. The green. Okay, well, we did what we could. Our army is significantly smaller at this point. Probably gonna die. I'm sure it'll do at least 600 damage. That's about all the HP she has, so... Yep, she's dead. She'll survive that, and if it's another basic, she'll survive. She might even survive this, but it's doubtful. Yep, so we wasted an item on her, too. All of those are bad things, but that's okay. We're used to doing bad things, I guess. Alright, let's get this going. We're down to the final four again. She did what now? Give Arzla some credit. She's she's kind of a beast. That was um that was a lot. Like she really did some work there. I think we're a couple of attacks away from hitting level 15 and getting the next sever ourselves. I'd like to take a peek here. Oh no, we're not that close. I thought we were closer than that. Okay. The zombie swarm. And 
that's not great. Oh, they got poison on us too. That's the worst. And we can't move. Well, Arzla can't move. Alright, big attack. We're attacking from behind, so I'm guessing we're going to do over 3,000 damage. Let's see. Yep, 3,200. I don't know how much we would have done if we attacked from the front, but I'd have to assume it would be less. Execute, I guess. That's not enough. Seems like everything we're doing is just, it's never enough. Arcane Slash. I'll finish this. I doubt it, man. I mean, we hit hard, but we don't hit that hard. I mean, Planair might finish this. Emphasis on the might. And again, she might not. <sighs> Like, if we don't kill the guy, no matter if we heal or not, someone's gonna die. And if we heal... Or if we kill the guy, chances are plein air might die. Might die. Uh, if we don't heal, there's a pretty good chance that everyone's gonna die. Uh, I don't know, this is, this is bad. Oh, no. No, we upset another one. Yeah, plenty of toast. Alright, so what we're gonna do is a bad idea. I'm gonna espoir you. And then we're gonna run. And then we're gonna move over here. We're gonna use an item. It's gonna be the flan. And then we're gonna come forth with you. And I guess try to. It's too close. Uh, maybe there? We'll try to defend? We're down to the terrible three. like it's fine right now. Like these things don't phase me. Ah, oh, come on. Stop trolling me. Zombie with a prowess. No moving for you. <laughs> Really? That's fantastic. Thank you for that. Here, stop being poisoned and unmovable. I'm gonna go hide in this corner. Then you can move back over here and be all like, hey, what's going on? And then you can come over here and can you... No. It is too much to ask that you get this done, but we're gonna try it anyway. Oh, it's okay. Like I said, we're right at the cusp of being strong enough, but oh, goodbye, Sage. Really was hoping to get you back inside before bad juju happened, but it happened. Oh, the bad juju happened. Eh. Goodbye, Darby. Okay, well, we're still hanging in there. We're still, we're still struggling and suffering a little bit. We're also hustling. I 
feel like this is a, a, a like this is a exercise in futility. It, it really seems that way. Don't we have to do like forty thousand damage to the boss? I just don't see that happening. I mean, Edna's pulling 3k, so she'd have to hit him 12 times and not die. Plus, if that wasn't enough. Plus, we still have to deal with the other goofballs that are over there. Open drink. Egg yolk. An eclair. It's a charred newt do. Yeah, I'm drinking that. I already eaten the charred newt, that's fine. Okay. I mean, whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll use some cheese tactics if I have to. We have to throw on the cheese factor. I will throw on the cheese factor. I am totally okay with that. 2800 what if we just take a little step up to the plate here and we wind cut you yeah so he's down big cheese coming yep he's gonna cannonball both of us I didn't want to step where I step I was like this is probably a bad idea but it might be fun nope it wasn't fine I uh, would rather not be getting owned, but, you know, whatevs. Flan, go ahead. Alright, Etna. Turbulence? What's that? Probably not strong enough to do what we need to do right now. So we're going to pretend like we don't have it yet. But I'm interested and excited to see. So we shall see. Come forth and play with us. Yes. Keep cannonballing. I believe she would focus her less. Focus at no more. But, you know, whatever. Gats to do what you gats to do. We're going to go ahead and, I guess, hurricane slash you. Follow that up with another avalanche. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I feel like it's a waste. That all our efforts and stuff that we're doing right now is not going to be enough. In fact, I'm like 80, 80 to 90 percent sure, like we're not going to have enough to get through this. As cool and strong and powerful as Edna is, she's going up against somebody who's 250, 40,000 hit points, has two pocket healers, and she's basically doing it alone. I mean, we've got a little bit left that we can throw out there, but it's not a lot. It's not. It's not a lot. Um, we got Butch who can probably cast a couple spells. That's about it. Let's go ahead and use an item to get back our... Didn't we have more? I thought we did. Oh yeah, the egg yolk. Back some of our SP. And then you've only got Mega Heal. So that's gonna do like nothing. Whatever, we'll do that a couple turns. We'll see what's going down. Hurrah! Hurrah you tell him. You tell him, man. By the way, a few folks had mentioned, and I did do some research and looking around and everything else. And indeed, people are correct, even though it's weird and strange. Uh, people are correct that they are indeed male uh, clerics still. I think. If I had to guess, if I had to come up with some reasoning why this is the way it is at this point, 
I think it has a lot to do with how my whole thing went down in the original Disgaea PC um, playthrough. And that was, I looked at the two characters, I thought there was just two different versions of the female cleric. And then I created one with, I don't know, probably the name Tamlin, probably what I did. And then I walked out and I threw a heel and the thing was like, hey, let's heal. And I was like, whoa, that's a guy? So then I changed his name to Butch. And I think everybody had that same concept or idea, the same feel that the character very much looked like a female. So I think NIS America or NIS Nipponichi Software said, hey, you know what? That's kind of funny. And not because I did it, but I'm like, multiple people probably did this. So they're like, that's pretty funny. Why don't we just make the character even more so confusing? Like even more like a girl. Wearing a clear dress with pierced ears, with earrings hanging from it, and have a girl's voice. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. There's some other reasoning. I don't know what it is. Alright, this is going to be my last heal onto us. And, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go back here. Oh, we're, all right, we're going to eventually go back there. And then we're going to bring out Arzla, and it's it's going to be a mess. But it's going to be our mess. By golly. She's just one hit from death. All right, we're going to bring out Bumpy. At least he's full health. And we'll item up with, um, I don't know, an unopened drink. Get a couple more chunks of mana. All right, big guy's coming. Is he going to do basic attacks? Oh, he is, but he also crit the snot out of me. Oh, and then he double attacked me. Because of the counter and the counter, 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 and the counter, 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 counter. Counter, counter, counter. All right, so we're going to move away. We're going to go ahead with wing or wind cutter. We're going to attack. And then, I'm not sure, but I... What is the what does that mean? I can't use specials. Of course I can't. Why would I want to do that? That seems far too easy. Alright, Madeiras. Alright, we got him down to almost zero percent. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Woo! That didn't feel good. Oops, I missed. Let's try again. All right, avalanche. From behind with that. Ooh, we actually did some actual damage that time. All right, hurricane. Let's do it. I'll finish this. Will you? We did 800. That's not admirable, but it's a thing that happened. I think we'll probably go through it, but it hurts. Okay, so what we're going to do now is item up. We have two eclairs left. How much health do I have? I'm going to go with the cotton candy. It should keep me alive through the next attack. Do I have enough for the avalanche? Looks like I do. Try this again. I mean, we're... We're grasping at straws, guys and gals. We're, we're stretching. We're trying to reach that brass ring, and it's just... Mm -mm. Not looking good. Ooh, it wasn't enough. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, we'll just keep at it. Avalanche. I mean, we've gotten through a, a fairly sizable portion of his HP, but. I mean, he's down to, like, two-thirds? I mean, we got through, like, what? He was at 48, now he's at 31. Again, another 10 attacks, give or take. Mm 
All right, we're gonna attack from in front. I don't know how much this is gonna reduce the damage. I've been trying to attack from the side or the back repeatedly, but. It's also possible it's just critical strikes and they're just happening to happen. He's apparently got a lot of mana too. I mean, I'm kind of winning on the overall damage, but... We got the two eclairs left. That keep us alive. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's just end the turn. He attacked, we countered, he's gonna counter, counter, we're gonna counter, counter, counter. Nope. Here. Nerfed this into the ground there, thank you. He does seem to focus our back. Man, that's annoying. He is outplaying us. Like, if we can't use our special abilities, we're in a lot of trouble. So what's he at now? 22. Uh, I mean, we're... Dead. Open drink and unopen drink. Ah, oh, this is so bad. Oh, good. So theoretically, I will not be confused or whatever it is that I am. Nope, still confused. Son of a. Mm. Oh, he did slightly more damage that time. Yeah, it's just we can't. It was close, though. It was so close. What a cheesy way to lose. Honestly, without that, without that, I think I had him. I absolutely did. I had him. Look, we would have done at least five more attacks. That would have been 15,000 damage done to him. We would finish him in two attacks. Absolutely 100% he would have died. And I think we would have still had enough to finish everything else that we needed to. But now it looks like it's not going to be the case. So what I think I'll do is I will break off the episode once we return back to uh, the castle. And when I do that, we'll, um, we'll reconvene. Basically, we'll start the next episode. Basically, at this boss fight. I think, well, no, maybe we'll play through the whole level again. I don't know. Or maybe I'll clear out the first wave of zombies or something. Just to make it a little bit quicker. And, or, or possibly I'll do, like, a, a level up thing. Like, one level up thing, and then we'll hop in, and we'll see what we're doing. But, that's basically all I've got. 15,000 is what he had left. We absolutely had him 100% until he cheesed me with a question mark. Hey, I did some cheesy strats, too. I'm not gonna lie. I did a lot of cheesy strats, but there you go. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if I recall correctly, all of our stuff should be back. I will stock up on actual usable items, too. Because even just having a few more of those would have changed the tide of the game. So, either way, I'll do um, probably one or two level ups, and then I think I'll be ready to fight him again. Honestly, if I just get Arzla a little bit stronger, maybe Bumpy, slightly more powerful, and Planair, I think we've got it. So if each one of, each one of those guys gains like 20 to 30 levels, we're, we're set. And who knows? We'll see. Anyway, folks, that's it for now. Until the very next episode and probably the last episode of Etna Mode. We'll see. Maybe there'll be two more. I don't know exactly yet. But until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later. <laughs>